previously on said Stevie. I uh, had much issues, but um, we'll see. So, all right, uh, I'm going to start here and uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, there, failed the lock. Did not pass the test already. Yep, fuck the lock. So, I'll have to take this apart now and see what happened. Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie. And, well, yeah. Uh, I fucked around and found out. I broke my Mordax. If you didn't see my last uh, video I recently posted, uh, I'll have it linked up here somewhere. But uh, I decided to try to baton with my Mordax. And it failed pretty quickly. The lock failed pretty quickly. And it's all foobard at this point. Um, the it, it will not lock up at all. At all. And then it gets hung up right here. And got some rattling. So I don't know if a simple uh, disassembly and reassembly to realign things will uh, get it back in working order. Or if I'm going to need to contact uh, Protech or what's up. But... Um, I may as well take it apart and see what I can do, right? So, uh, let's get into it. Let's see if I can fix this, because uh, this is uh, one of my uh, all-time favorite knives. Uh, I had already declared it my favorite button lock knife. And, look, uh, use your ship, but use your ship properly. Uh, this is obviously not a knife that's meant to baton. Um, I thought the lock would be a little bit more... Uh, stronger? I thought the lock would be a lot stronger based on the amount of spine wax that I've done. You can't see me doing it off uh, camera, but during the whole spine whacking, uh, hot topic, uh, it was a topic of debate for so long, I spine whacked the shit out of this thing. Like, I thought I put a lot of weight into it, and it never failed, and so I kind of thought it was good to go. Uh, I was out and about, uh, found some firewood. Like, yeah, why don't I baton with this thing? See what happens. And, like I said, uh... I broke it, so um, let's see what's going on. Uh, it's been a long time since I have taken apart the Mordax. It's a button lock, obviously, plunge lock, so I got a spring to contend with. I believe there's a hidden screw behind the clip here. I think I got to take off all the hardware here to uh, get to it, or complete disassembly. So I'm gonna start by taking off the uh, pocket clip here. And I'm hoping I can, uh, I can fix it as is, and I don't have to do any sort of, uh, I don't have to contact Protec or anything. Uh, we shall see. But, yep, there are, uh, that does reveal a hidden screw there. These are T6s, by the way. And I believe both of these screws are the same. This also has a threaded, uh, stop pin that I'm going to have to take out. Are both of these screws same length, so if I get them mixed up, it doesn't matter. That is the case, so I'm going to put them here in this can. And then um, I have to take out the pivot from that side, so I'm going to try taking out just... The, oh, that was loose. Hmm. All right, so that's the stop pin screw. Is that different than... Come on, mother ever. There it is. Yep, it's stubbier than the others, so. All right, now this requires a T9. I already fitted it. I thought it was a T8, but it's a T9. So I got the pivot out of there. Now I'm going to try to not eat the spring. You all know I'm good at eating springs, so. There was no spring in here. Hmm. Uh, I think I I did it. I sheared off the, uh, that's what happened. I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to be a two-piece, or was there supposed to be a spring in there? Did a spring just not... What happened here? Hmm. It seems like there should have been a spring in there. Did the spring fly out when I, oh, nope, the spring's right there. I just couldn't see it. Okay. All right. Uh, my peepers are actually getting worse on me. Uh, I got a... Whatchamajiggy? A... 
appointment to go get my eyes checked tomorrow. I'm gonna wipe things down. That bearing does appear to be pretty dang dirty, doesn't it? It certainly does. Why does that look like a completely different bearing? It's not, but it's really dirty. No, that is a completely different bearing. Why is that? Why did I do that? Why do I have mixed bearings in there? That's very odd. That's very, very odd. That is a 3 16 and a 5 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's weird. Why would I have done that? There has to be a reason behind it. I know that... Hmm, that's weird that I did that. Uh, I would have taken this apart and added skips long before I had the channel. So, um, don't know why I did that, but I did. But I'm not sure what's going on here. That button sits in there like that. And the spring sits in there like that. Yeah, and then this goes over the top of it. Is that how I do it? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to try putting this back together as is real quick and see what happens here. So probably to... I'm going to have to... Hmm, how do I do this? I do not remember. It's been so long. What's going on here? Hmm. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so I have been fighting with this thing uh, off camera. Um, and I finally realized the reason I can't get it together is I definitely broke the plunge. Uh, or this uh, mechanism here. Now that I can see a little bit better, uh, this is supposed to... The spring is supposed to sit there, and then this is supposed to be one piece that I put over it, like so. And that's what sheared off of there. That's what broke when I was batoning. So until I get a replacement uh, piece from Protec, I'm not going to be able to put this back together. So I'm going to pause here and uh, I'm going to contact Protec and then eventually I will pick up uh, where I left off. Um, yeah, until I, we'll see how long it goes, but yeah. And I'm back. It's actually been a couple months since I stopped the last video and I said I was going to contact Protec. Uh, I did. It took a little bit of time, um, probably about a month or so uh, for me to receive um the replacement they didn't hassle me at all i told them exactly what i did i even sent them a link to the video and they said no problemo and they said they'd send me out a new button uh in the meantime uh patina turner actually uh sent me uh he had a replacement uh button as well in a stone washed or a blasted uh variant so he had sent me that i held up uh wanting to uh, see what protect was going to send and then there was something else uh, that i'll have at the end that i was waiting to do uh, to put everything back together. So um, I might uh, use this uh, blasted one from Patina. Uh, I might not, actually, uh, because it's going to mismatch, I think. Because um, this is a satin button that was on there. But here is what uh, Protec sent me. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, a Malibu sticker. Uh, so they sent... There's no button in here. They just sent the spring. Those mother effers waited all this time. There's nothing else in here. All they did was send the spring. They even wrote Mordax button on it. And then there's no... Uh, am I ridiculous? No, oh, there's springs. Which I have the spring. Well, uh, it looks like I'm going to be using uh, Patina's button after all. Because Protec... Uh, 
Hey, good on you for uh, intending on sending me the button, but uh, there's definitely no button in there. Again, they even wrote button, Mordax button on the box. Bunch of nincompoops. Um, well, I guess I got a couple extra springs, so, and some Protect stickers out of it. But uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy put back together. Um, oh well. I can totally live with a mismatched button. I actually asked them if they would send me all new uh, blasted hardware, and they told me no. They said satin is what you want to do. Um, and since uh, this is the pivot is actually press fit in there, there's no getting it out. I mean, I'm sure you could, but looks like I tried to paint my nails. Um, but that's press fit in there. So that's going to be, that would have been satin no matter what. But uh, they, they talked, they, you know, they, <laughs> they like talked me into getting a replacement satin. But they didn't send that anyway, so uh, screw them. All right, uh, let's get this going here. Uh, I'm going to relube things. Get my bit driver. I think it was all T8 on there. Was it? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. But yeah, it took me a couple months just to um, get everything together and have time to set aside to do this. And today is the day. It happens to be uh, Ferrum Forge Friday, actually. Fitting enough. Um, today's the, the 10th. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I'm editing some things together. All right, so is that, yep, so we need that one. I think that's a T6. It is, and then is it a T8 on the, just dumped all my shit out. What's the point of having this thing? Um... Is that, that's the pivot there. It's a T8 on the pivot. So, all right. A little disheveled, but uh, that's okay. All right, so let's see if I can remember how to put this back together. All right, I think I need to put the blade on first. No, I need to put the button and the spring on first. I guess if I end up... Uh, Yeet my spring. I got a couple of replacements here. So that should go like so. Ugh. Yep. Struggle bus, folks. Struggle bus. Come on. That doesn't seem right. That seems right, though. Is that is that right? Is that too simple to do? Have done? Nope, that's exactly all it took. Alright, so... I just realized, though... I didn't put the bearings in. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I yeeted the button, not the spring. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. And luckily, uh, this button is just barely uh, bigger than the cracks in my deck. Or else, that would have been catastrophic. Alright, let's get the bearings back in here. Oh, nope. Good lord. I guess if I'm going to fail, I may as well fail uh, the right way. All right, um, I don't know. These had already broken the washers on a certain side. I didn't keep track of that, so I don't know if that's going to matter. But it's got a new button, so it's going to have to break in all over again anyway. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. I always over lube. All right. Now, how did I do that? I think that's all it took. Everything is back in order there. I can put the scale back on, and we'll make sure that that was correct. Yes, but, again, I need to put the freaking bearings back on. What am I doing? Good lord. Good lord. 
been a minute since I've messed with anything. Apparently, I'm rusty. Alright. Um, but yeah, uh, happy to have the Mordax back in rotation. I do, uh, still, despite this not being a very good batani knife, I really like it. So, something's not right. Something's not right. There we go. Alright, there we go. That's right. Okay. Okay, folks, let's put this pivot back in just to secure things. And we'll start putting all the other hardware back in. We'll adjust the pivot here in a second. First, let me... Two different sizes of, I think the small, the shorter one is for the stop pin here. Excuse the train in the background. No, that's too long. So it's actually the shorter one. The shorter, there's three. <sighs> Alright, that is right. Yeah, all right, we're back in business, yeah, folks. Back in business. So, let's see here. I'll put that one in. So, as I mentioned, all the other hardware is satin. And the button is now going to be uh, blasted, but... I really don't care about that, actually. Let's see if it's uh, dialed in. No uh, blade play, but I think I can still tighten that a little bit. Do I have my Loctite on a stick? I do. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of uh, thread locker on here, folks. So let me back on up. Throw a little bit of thread locker on there. This is going to end up being like a half hour freaking video. I don't know. But, I guess uh, that's what you get. Like I said, uh, I fucked around and found out. And why is that not wanting to thread in there? There we go. And now, uh, however long it takes me is however long it takes me. Uh, where did I put the cap to this? I just want to try to clean up a little bit. No blade play, or a little bit of blade play. Back that off just a nano skosh. There we go. Let's. Yep, that's where it needs to be. All right, so the Mordax is back in business. Back in business. Um, all that's left to do is put the pocket clip on. However, I'm not going to put. Uh, that pocket clip back on because one of the things I was waiting for uh, since uh, this happened uh, Lynch Northwest came out with some ProTech uh, pocket clip replacements and I ordered uh, a bunch actually so in here is uh, let's see I got some extra screws there one of these is actually a McNeese clip, and I don't know which one it is. One of these is not like the other. I think that's the McNeese. Because these ones all look... Yep, alright, so that's for my McNeese. And I, so I got a bunch of different uh, Ferrum Forges that I'm going to be putting these clips on. I ordered two with the feather and two without. Uh, let's put a feather on. Why don't we? Put a feather on it. All right, um, where'd my knife go? Aha, I had it in my freaking hand. So this should fit uh, right in that pocket there. And it does. And it should use the exact same hardware. Why do I have three screws when I only need two? 
I don't. There's only two screws there. Holy freaking. <sighs> Some sometimes uh you know the, the the wheels just really come off. And I'm a little ditzy today. Definitely a little ditzy today. But here we go. That is a perfect fit on the Lynch Northwest clip. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it fits perfectly recessed into the um, slot there. And the screws are still flush fitting. Um, the only thing that's different is the tab is a little bit shorter. Therefore, you can kind of sort of see the uh, hidden screw in there. But again, I'm okay with that. So now I got a ProTec uh, with a Lynch Northwest clip on it. There we go, folks. Uh, this is my first of many. Uh, this is peanut butter and jelly for me. This is Ferrum Forge, my favorite uh, knife designer. And uh, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite companies in the EDC community, uh, Lynch Northwest. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm wearing a Lynch Northwest hoodie right now, even. <laughs> Imagine that, folks. But, all right, well, it's back in business. Uh, here is the broken button. So, uh, yeah. This video all around was a uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> I struggled in every single facet from ProTech not actually sending the button to yeeting the button to having to take this apart a couple of times. But here we go. We are done now. And I can put this back in the rotation. Maybe I'll carry it for this upcoming Mordax Monday. So I still highly uh, recommend this knife. Uh, just don't baton with it um, or have the lock already disengaged if you're going to baton with it. Uh, if you were in a pinch and had to do some emergency batoning and this was the only thing that you had on you. Um, but uh, yeah, the new ones are no longer uh, drop collaboration. They're all uh, more to, or they're all uh, ProTech uh, in-house. Uh, this has, by the way, a very nice edge on it from... John over at Knife Nerd Reviews. Uh, one of the best sharpeners in the game. But he, uh, er, uh, so ProTech, uh, ProTech does put these out now on their own. No more drop collaboration. Uh, they came out with them in Magna Cut. And then I think recently I saw maybe there's an S45VN drop somewhere uh, with like some milled uh, scales. Now I have heard of some quality issues. Um, from grinds being off, um, and, uh, I think a lot of button stick. Um, so, you know, that's unfortunate, uh, if that's happening, but this one, uh, other than that button breaking, I broke the button. Again, I broke the button. Uh, this knife is perfect, in my opinion. Uh, that clip doesn't change the ergos either. I don't feel it at all. Uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit of jimping on the top. Um, you know, maybe even, like, into, uh, the... The spine of the knife and you know into that uh you know where you're on the choil there but yeah um it's good it's real good i really like the mordax one of my uh older knives in the collection uh whenever this was released i think 20 2020 maybe 2019 2020 uh either way uh it's gotten a lot of use again you can see uh, how much I've carried it. Um, it's just aluminum on the scales, you know, so they don't, uh, they definitely have some wear and tear, but this is a user for me, and although I try to take care of my knives, um, it doesn't bother me that they, uh, get, this gets dinged up. So, that's it, folks. Um, I am going to, uh, probably do another video here. Um, maintenance stuff. I got all sorts of stuff that I need to do. Maybe I'll combine some. Um, I just got some uh, pivot collars for my JK uh, V4. Uh, I, I can put a uh, clip on my Malibu uh, that I got, uh, a, a Lynch Northwest clip. Maybe I'll do the couple of uh, Ferrum Forges with the clip as well. But, yep, that's all I got for you folks now. So, uh, appreciate you, uh, fellas and fellettes, uh, tuning in. Uh, if you watch this video all the way through, uh, this concludes your ride on the struggle bus. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to uh, like the video 
or dislike the video and you can subscribe right there and check out that video uh, right there and until the next one i bid you mofos adieu bye bye